our son's friend was nice enough to help Caveman Mikey there cut all the sod off his new garden. Looks better than the one we dug in the fall. And <laughs> I don't think we dug that part at all. I think we went over. Anyway, we filled the hole with sand. Well, got down in the sand, filled it with compost, bones, old baked potatoes, sticks, coffee grounds, newspaper, all that yummy stuff. So we went down to the red soil, filled it in, sticks that on top, then we're going to put that soil back on and mulch. We already did this little part, so we put all the dirt here and fill it in, and then we put all that and then there, and then keep going until all that has bearing good stuff under it. Much love. The different stages. We've got the hole. We've got stuff that's uh, already done. Buried a lot of stuff under there. We've got a hole to fill up. Um, we got that one already covered. But the shavings. Oh, the bunny rabbit poo. It goes on there. Not the wet abbey. And we have cardboard. Our bunny drinks beer, so we layer cardboard underneath the bunny mulch. So we're going to get less weeds that way, we hope. So here's to raining May. <laughs> Gotta go in for a prank. All this sod is going to help us cover the dog poo <laughs> in the other yard. It's just going to be so helpful. Okay, we got a big garden happening here. <laughs> we'll call it a garden. Right here, we have a layer of bone. The dogs eat some of the bone, but not all of them. So, we have, you know, bone. If you have any mice, my cat's been finding me mice and leaving them even by the hole for me as I mill these gardens. So, put them in there. Um, put a layer of sand, fishing on the hole, down to the sand. Right here, it's about a foot. Under that, we have sand. Um, put a little bit of sand back over the animal, and then I put, or bone, and I put trees, a lot of broken up, uh, you know, anything dry. This is not weed. And it's all dried out, it's not gonna live. So, any brown material layer. Green, green, brown, green, brown. We're gonna put a little bit of um, compost, finished, unfinished. Uh, we have tomato to spread out on the top, bunny rabbit shavings with bunny nuggets and hay mixed in. We have lots of layers happening here. And we're doing the same with potato bags way up here by the brush pile. Filling it full of brush. Just make sure you feed it lots of nitrogen. Coffee grounds. Perfect. Thank you. I'm uh, joining the shed wars, and I'll show you how to make those potato bags. But you want to see what's inside my shed? I thought maybe you guys would like to know. Mm, let's go inside.
what happens when you get potatoes growing all winter and they, you know, just collect them. You know what you can do with them? I already have a potato patch dug in in the fall, planted right in here. So I don't need any more in the ground. So what I did is I cut them, but I filled up these bags full of sand at the bottom. Put a lot of sticks, more sand, compost, potatoes, more compost. There's even some, uh, a little bit. Don't put too much topsoil in there. You want it more drainy, but you want it hold a little bit of moisture. So there's about an inch. When there's about an inch or two of compost on either side of the potato, right, there's sand. And then I'll put compost on top of that, so you can see. The other bag had a little bit underneath, don't really matter. Sand to hold them, hold them down, they don't blow away. That's really important, and not dry out too much, and a hole in the moisture. That's nice compost. It's finished, and not separated or, you know, screened. It don't need any. We're building holes there. <laughs> Shadow can. Okay. If uh, you're still with me, people here, you can uh, catch what I missed to tell you there. We had some lettuce that was sitting out there, and we put the lettuce in here. For one, it fell over and it needs to come out. And the potato, by the time it gets that big, will be eating the lettuce. So we didn't plant more of it, it's just a mixed lettuce. These are kind of some of the things that we're going to be growing. More on that later. But, like the potato bag, we did this in the ground to remember that hole. Well, I filled it full of the same stuff, sticks, compost, uh, huga, huga culture, huga, huga, huga culture. I don't know. I can't say it. I call it Howie culture now. He does that. Pathway soil bank, same thing. Layers, people. Uh, I think I'm going to be joining Team Over the Pond. Because this weekend is Victoria Day, and it is, if it's not snowing this weekend, we're planting, because it's our last frost date. So this year, no snow. No snow. We're planting. We already had that last frost, and we are safe to go. So these containers are awesome. I wanted to give you a quick tip. Water buckets. Perfect. My son did this for me. These cans hold so much. Uh, rabbit shavings on top and the one in the ground, but not on top of these seeds yet. I'm going to wait until they come up and then mulch around them. But set, pathway, soil, bay, food culture, how we culture, whatever you do. Get out and grow. It's easy. If these start running out of nitrogen, coffee fertilizer mess thing. Do not throw out your old coffee, old coffee grounds, add topsoil, add compost, add money nuggets. See, money nuggets. So why throw any of these waste products out? You don't burn the wood and put the ashes in the garden, bury the wood in the garden. Like I'm about to do in that next hole. Compost, layers, don't throw anything out and buy less. Use what you got. We get mulch. That's our money shavings here. So we use this. It's not we got. But look, we only got some mushrooms growing on here. Maybe somebody can help. I tried out this seam tape this year. There's nothing straight about me. But I had to use a straight seam tape. So we're going to be unstraight in other ways in the garden. And I'm out of snowballs, so we're throwing spuds now. Bunny kisses and spuds. Have fun.
Join the Shed Wars. Sugar, Oh, honey, mommy, you are my money boy, and I love you for eating all the deadly lions. Oh, sugar, oh, honey, money, you almost made a whole Manitoba maple tree, and you got me rotten you. Oh, sugar. Oh, honey, money. You're such a good boy. Thank you, sugar, for eating all the nanny lions in Manitoba, Manitoba maple. My weenie nerd.